Good morning, everybody. Shlomo uh, Amorun. This is the second video in a series of uh, hydroponics for people that want to start it up. Um, I just made some modification, and I'll be answering well, some of the questions that you have requested. So um, at the moment, this is what I've done. For this time, as you can see, it's almost like a jungle. Um, what actually I've planted are mainly um, chilies, there's some cucumbers, and also some flowers. I'll just go a bit closer and uh, show you um, what's in the hydroponic itself. Um, of course, what we got is some flowers in there, as you can see, and uh, I've got a small cucumber plant just growing up. And I've got some more uh, flowers sitting there. And uh, these are the um, cucumber uh, plants that are growing up. And uh, the rest of it is just uh, pure hot chilies, which I'm not certain what I'm going to do with them. There's so many of them. Okay, I bring the camera a bit closer. Okay, now uh, I hope you can see that there's a lot of chilies all over the place. I, I'm also getting lots of bees now coming in. They're pollinating the uh, uh, cucumber plant. Um, let me see if I can show you. Now this plant started to just uh, produce the cucumbers themselves. Um, okay, this one there it should be displayed right now. Okay, now I'll be trying to answer some of your questions. So. Um, Okay, getting back uh, to the tank, it's the same as before. I haven't modified whatsoever. If you have seen the part one, I've given you the description of what I've done. This uh, tank down here is holding something like 40 liters or uh, around about uh, 10 gallons of uh, water combined with nutrient. And the water is directly fed from the tap, which is located at this point. Now, I'm not measuring on any pH or anything else or temperatures. It's just an ordinary tap water going in and it's feeding the plants. Okay, the uh, modification I've made is a bit different. If you can see, there are no more cups anymore. But what I've got is the uh, polystyrene cut um, into a round shape and the plants inserted in it and then immersed in this nutrient. Um, as it flows around with the pump and this is a much better what I found out much easier than the previous version some people may may prefer the uh, virgin cup with the pebbles in it but this time what I've done something a bit better in a sense there are no mess and also um, that the plants they grow straight away I'm surprised yeah, how fast they have grown and they produce so much of this chili, sir. it's amazing. Everywhere I look, it's there. Now I'll, I'll uh, explain to you as uh, what I've done with regard to those uh, support for the plants. Okay, there's a typical polystyrene box which I've uh, just uh, taken it and I'm recycling it. If you have a look, I um, made some circles. Then these circles have been cut with a knife, which you can see there, and. Um, also what I've done is to um, simply in some cases divide them by two or in some cases I've just made it into a, um, a hole and a slot so the plant can slide into it then it can be inserted in the holes that I've cut in the pipe. Now the beauty about them they're just like a cork if you uh, force it in, inside the hole it actually closes this gap and holds plants in there and also as the plant grows bigger actually the stems opens up and gives you much more support on the um, holding of the plant together okay here's a typical plant that i've done i'll just show it to you it's out there are the roots and it's holding itself now i'm gonna be putting it back on again as simple as that it just sits there nicely so as the stem grows up it forces the um, polystyrene to open up 
and then hinge much much stronger on the edge of the circle okay, I want to show you that the whole setup is in fact on a balcony so anybody can have a system like this set up and it's quite successful um, the, I'll be making another third video which will be just plain flowers nothing else and it becomes like a garden on a terrace more or less okay um, the other question is which I was asked whether I, we could use the pump with, um, with uh, solar powered uh, panels uh, the answer is yes but as long as you store some of that energy that um, you're um, producing from the sun in the form of a battery storage so the pump can go can keep on operating even during the night now um, the pump or in my case it can also stop maybe for for two hours because I've got enough water and nutrient in the pipe to sustain the plants you know uh, people have been asking me uh, as what nutrient I'm using and to what uh, quantity I'm I'm um, putting inside the water. I'll explain to you uh, what it is. I'll just set it up on a table so I can show it to you right now. These are some of the um, nutrients that I use um, that I put in the big container. What it is, in fact, they're all basically the same. They've got exactly this ingredient which I, I have outlined on this sheet of paper. Um, what I do I just take the uh, spoon there, that teaspoon, and I mix, for instance, this brand, three of those spoons inside the jar with some water, then I pour it inside the big container. Uh, these are some of the products available in the market, but I'm sure that you can find similar uh, material or similar nutrient in your own country. The main thing is that they have to be definitely soluble, soluble filterizer, as it uh, specifies in all of them. This is as how they're gonna mix in the water nicely and then you can pour it in. Okay, I'm gonna pour uh, a bit of this in the uh, main container right now. Okay, here's the jar with the water that I've mixed the new channel already. I'm gonna be pouring it directly inside the water. And that's it, the job is done. Then I'll be covering the cover. And that should be ready for another three weeks. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just let me know. So on the third video, which will be simply pure flowers, then um, I can answer you the questions that you're interested in hearing. Thank you very much for watching and wish you the best.